hey guys welcome back to another video so we're going to be doing some press-ons these press-ons are going to be really really short and simple we're not going to do too much to these press-ons so first things first we went ahead and cut down these nail tips now these nail tips i did get them from amazon all of the products that i use will be linked to my amazon storefront and that link will be in the description box down below so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and cut down the nail tip to my liking i'm gonna be using this nail cutter now this nail cutter i actually purchased this from shein but of course you guys can find this on amazon i will also link that on the amazon storefront so you guys can purchase Okay, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sanding band and just remove the shine off the nail and also roughen up the nail so that way the gel polish can adhere better to the nail. Alright, so that's what the nails are looking like so far. Next, I'm taking my base gel from the brand Beatles. I absolutely love this brand. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply one coat of base gel to all 10 nails. So I went ahead and cured that and next I'm taking this color gel polish from of course Beatles. Again, I love this brand of polishes. Now this color is more of a mauve color. Now the actual color in the bottle, the camera's not picking up the true shade of the color, but on the sticker part of the bottle handle, that is the true shade of the color. So it's on the mauve, mauve color side. Alrighty, so I went ahead and applied two coats. I probably would have gotten away with one because this is so pigmented. You only need one coat, but I like a more thicker nail. So I went ahead and applied two coats of this color to all 10 nails. So this is what the nails are looking like after I applied the two coats and now I'm going to be taking this reflective glitter. Again, I did purchase this off of Amazon. It's so pretty, so reflective. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on the tips of the nail and use this ombre um, brush to kind of fade it up towards the cuticle area of the nail. So it's going to be an ombre effect.
Okay, so these are how the nails are looking so far, but we're gonna go ahead and add some rhinestones, some stones to the nails. So I will be using this glue from a cart and I will be applying that. But first I'm gonna be applying top coats um, because normally what I would do when I am placing stones on the nails, I would go ahead and apply the glue and then I would go in with top coat and a nail art brush to go ahead and just seal in those stones. But I'm doing a different method today, so I'm going to be applying the top coat first, and then I'm going to be applying the rhinestone gel glue. Now, I don't have any particular design or stone placement. I'm just placing a large stone on and then the smaller stones. Again, no particular placement, design, no particular order. I'm just sticking the stones on and trying to figure out what would look good on the nail so kind of a little heavy at the bottom and then kind of fading upward towards the um the cuticle part of the nail So again, I'm showing you guys one more time. I will be applying the top coat first, and then I will be applying the gel glue where I am going to be um, applying the rhinestones. And then I do go in with a small nail art brush before curing, just to add a little bit more top coat so that way it's you know really stuck on the nails so that way they don't move. And then I go ahead and cure. Okay guys, so this is what the nails are looking like. They look pretty good to me, but the final step that we are going to do is we're gonna take our hand file and we are going to file down the nail a little bit because we all know that after we apply the polish and cure it, sometimes the polish can run um, and make the nail a little bit bulky. It can lose its shape a little bit. So we're just gonna go ahead and file it, um, just the free edge, not the sides, but just the, nail, the tip of the nail just so that we can go ahead and make it a little bit more crisp and reshape the nail. Okay guys, and that is it. This is the finished product. These are how the nails are looking after I have filed them. I think that this set came out really, really cute. It's really simple, but it does have some bling to it. And this is how the nails are looking like on me. I didn't record a lot, but these are how they're looking. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Always remember, of course, to stay beautiful. Love you guys. Bye.